Hello walkers and welcome to the University of Denver on a beautiful post snowy day. Uh, the skies are blue but snow came through last night and plastered the trees and the ground. It's pretty icy but it's still so beautiful. I'll give you a slow turn here. We're starting off at Warren and University for those of you following on the map. And look at look at the sun coming through those those trees so pretty it's melting off it's 25 degrees uh fahrenheit which i think is negative four degrees celsius about 8 35 in the morning negative three degrees negative two degrees celsius 28 degrees fahrenheit it's warming up quickly and uh it is beautiful i'm going to let the views speak for themselves we're currently headed west and we'll see some of the mountains in the distance here in a little bit um, this is going to be an exploration. My name is Henry. I'll be your proxy walker, your virtual travel guide today. As I take you around this research university, I was reading up on Wikipedia, and uh, I'll tell you a second what that is. But first, I want to ask you to please help me out and leave a comment with your stories, your views, your corrections, your information, your feedback. Uh, politely put, I hope, and, uh, I, well, there's some ice, uh, because I, I value that, and I get a lot of um, happiness and joy from reading your stories, and the feedback I get is of uh, a lot of value, so I appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't done that, uh, and like the video. That helps YouTube know that this is a good channel, and it should be recommended to others. Speaking of which, if you could Mention this to other people. That would be awesome. Your friends and family who need a little treadmill entertainment. Um, and check us out on social media. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that stuff. Okay, back to the walk. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. I love that flag with all the, the color of the flag with the white of the snow and the blue of the sky and the red of the brick. <clears throat> oh, hey. Think about that. Um, anyway, Denver University is it was surprising for me to learn that they have a total of about almost 13,000 students, of which uh, I think 7,500 or so are graduate or postgraduate students, meaning not undergraduate. That's unusual. I think of most universities as having a majority of undergraduates. Uh, it's classified as an R2 research university, and I don't know what that means. So I will put a link in the, uh, to Wikipedia article in the description. This is the Mary Reed building. Uh, this was started back in the 1870s or something like that. Pretty crazy. Oh, I just love this beautiful, beautiful weather. In fact, I think I'm going to turn around <clears throat> and I'm going to go this way because I want to start at the north end. <clears throat> Pardon me. Up by Evans Street, I guess. And then we'll work our way south. The mascot of the university are the Pioneers. Uh, if you're into following mascots and that sort of thing. <clears throat> and that is uh, the extent of my knowledge about the university here. Except that I know it's so pretty. Yesterday I was um, walking at Garden of the Gods. I had a beautiful day, except that by the time I got there, the clouds had rolled in, which on one hand is good because it, it helps with the contrast. You'll notice that right now the snow looks fairly blue, probably. Uh, 
been trying to figure out a good way to correct that a little bit. But <clears throat> and then the brights are super bright. And it's a real challenge for the camera. Uh, but anyway, I was hoping for some bright sunny skies, but it was still magnificent. So check that out when you get a chance. So to the east here is University and then Evans intersects with that and goes east-west. This is the Daniels College of Business. And we're, I don't know, a couple miles south of downtown. So very close, very close to Washington Park area as well. Cherry Creek's not far away. <clears throat> Adjust the microphone. I can. This is the Marjorie Reed Hall <clears throat> College of Business. It is going to be very quiet today because it is a Sunday morning. So not only do we have modified schedules for schools like this, in fact, I have no idea if they're doing in-class, in-person classes yet, but it's also a weekend morning. So behind these trees is the Bucktel Memorial Tower Holocaust Memorial Social Action Site. side of Evans there I believe is the uh, Sturm or Strum School of Law. And this is Evans Street here. <coughs> Pardon me. I forgot to mention my steps. I've been trying to remember uh, to, I've got a Fitbit fitness tracker and I track my steps, <coughs> pardon me. And so I've, I know we've already started and, um, but I haven't taken too many steps yet. And I'm just gonna let you know here, we're at 2,104, I believe. Although it's not really updating. We're at 2,134 and we've gotten a few hundred already. And I'll try to remember to morning post that difference, the different, uh, the, fina the final tabulation at the end. I have to admit my memory is not fantastic. Let's cross over here. No, it says no pedestrians or bicycles, so I will not cross there. Usually it doesn't bother me too much, but... It's a uh, challenge to do what I need to do to get my, access my phone to see what this building off to the left is, as well as, this is the Anderson Academic Commons, Commons, as well as keep my hands warm and my gloves.
don't know if you can see it on the screen or not, but in the distance, between the buildings, you can see downtown Denver. <clears throat> there we go. It is slippery slidey out here. Not worth it. We'll go this way. This is John Moy Hall. Right there, that old building. This is a little bit of a breeze, so I apologize if there's wind noise. Oh, you guys, it's so beautiful out this morning. Whoop, sorry about that. Hand slipped. So it's Denver University, and they have these signs that say, D-U, your part, do your part. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's clever. I like it. They had uh, signs over in Golden, Colorado, saying the golden rule was sort of best behavior practices. These Coloradans, they're clever. I'm not sure what building this is. Part of the Burwell Center for Career Achievement, which is this modern building, I believe. Or is it the SAE House, Sigma Alpha Epsilon Fraternity? It's got the lines out front, so I think it's an SAE house. It's a pretty cool building. <coughs> I like the copper sheathing. And then the slate, that greenish looking stuff is slate, I think. Shingles, very cool. All right, I'm not gonna go all the way to the northern side just cause I wanna get back to the main campus. Although this, maybe this is the main campus. It's the Vicky Mirren Gallery across the way. Looks like there's some tennis courts and other athletic facilities this way. And then Sturm Hall. Very 70s looking. Ah, oh, but look at this. So fantastic. You can see how crunchy the snow is too. And the way it's been blown onto the sides of things. I was in a hotel last night, I didn't even notice. So Sturm Hall over here is Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Museum of Anthropology, an auditorium, and uh, multimedia labs. So most colleges now have these, or have for a long time, these assistance pylons, these stations where you can, if there's some sort of crime or violence, um, you can go push that button and it's an emergency call button. Unfortunately, there's a need for that. Look at this place. It says Diamond Family Residential Village. Look at the uh, copper sheathing. Awesome. Beautiful. And you can see the roof or the, I don't know what you call that. It's sort of a 
portico up there is, <clears throat> excuse me, raw wood, naked wood. It's probably stained and treated, but it's beautiful up there. <clears throat> We're going to go back across Evans to see more of the campus. Oh, maybe that's University Hall. <laughs> Mystery. Underneath the pedestrian overpass, see the snowy mountains, the rocky mountains, but they're snowy. Over here is the bookstore. See how the snow was blown against those little banners? This is Driscoll. Yes, says Driscoll South, William T. Driscoll Student Center. This is the Joy Burns Center. Fritz Noble, Knoble, School of Hospitality Management. I bet this is a lovely campus in summer as well, in spring and fall. <laughs> Someone was out making snow people. Another objet d'art. Oh, but this is cool. It looks like a fountain that runs in warmer weather and flows down here. That's super cool. I'm trying not to use that term as much. Super cool. Come on, Henry.
like it might be mainly parking down here. It's interesting that this pathway is so clear. This is the CSIE complex, Joseph Corbel School of International Studies. We, of course, won't see the whole campus, but we'll see a good portion of it. Whoa! That was not my most graceful moment. <laughs> oh, what you folks must think. see these domed buildings. supposed to be a high in the low 40s today so most of this will melt off. So I believe that must be maybe the Newman Center for the Performing Arts. Nice looking little pond there. Let's go that way. This is Iliff Street. That's Avenue, Iliff Avenue. I L I F F. If you're keeping track. York. Oh, look at this. This is such a pretty scene. A little stream going here. A little bridge flowing down into this pond. I love this water feature. It's so cool. Not super cool. But very, very cool. I think I'm going to go this way. So this building over here is the Engineering and Computing Science Building. 
and this is the F.W. Olin Hall. And down that way, it looks like residential stuff. So I'm going to just move you, explore this way, I guess is what I'm saying. <clears throat> like a mausoleum. This Olin Hall is Department of Biological Sciences, Chemistry and Biochemistry, Geography, Soils of the Laboratory, etc. I'm curious what this thing is. And we've got these interesting stone sculptures. Pretty cool. Well, interesting. <laughs> Look at this squirrel climbing on the stone. There's enough texture for it to grip. You see it right next to the door? Hello, little fluffy fend. This is the Botcher Auditorium. I don't want to eat you. Don't worry. So it looks like this is all residential area, kind of at the southern border. Sorry, my gloves in my mouth. Southern border of the campus. So we'll turn around and head back north. Nice little bike station they've got here. If you need to work on your bike, inflate your tires, tighten things up. This is Eilif again. <clears throat> How pretty it is down there. Gotta watch my footing. That car just pulled out of Race Street, if you're following along. It's like 
Johnson McFarlane Hall. Looks like a residential place. And theater, it says. There's no street sign here, so I don't know what street this is. Let's see if I can pull it up on the Google. High Street. That's what we're walking along. Love these sunlit houses across the way. <laughs> The snow is melting off the trees and following on me. It's more ice than snow. go this way. I don't know if I can get through. I like to think that I can. These buildings are <laughs> kind of reminiscent of castles. Italianate. Spires and porticos up high. Oh yeah, here we go. That looks like a box of donuts and jelly. Actually, it said king cake, so maybe it was uh, <clears throat> something to do with Mardi Gras.
these looking at the blinds I'm guessing that most of these are uh, residences over here I don't see a sign oh Nelson Hall looks pretty nice up there Good morning Well, that's a pretty little church. Let's go that way and we'll come back. This really is just a magical walk. Uh, not giving myself kudos, but it's so beautiful. With the snow and the light and the buildings. I'm loving it. This is Evans Memorial Chapel. This is Nagel Hall. And that turret really does make it look like a fantasy castle or Disney castle or something. <clears throat> I, I like it. It's just interesting. Dream, take risks, persevere, prevail. That's what the metalwork says above Nagel Hall. Maybe castle isn't the right word, palatial. We learned in Scotland that castle and palace are very different, different purposes. Castle is a military fortification and a palace was intended to show off wealth and power. And I can't remember exactly such a cool ruin where we read that and learned it. Just, hmm. Check out Traveling Mel. We did a little video on it. I think it's a train, not far train ride from either Stirling or Edinburgh. Be honest with you those are not that far apart anyway coming through the lovely parking garage here risking life and limb on this icy road I 
believe we're coming back up on Evans. Looks like that is High Street down there. So we're gonna make a right on Evans and go back up. I think they're spraying these uh, sidewalks with ice melting solution. can't read the names on these scooters to tell you what service they are. Across the way is, it looks like the fraternity house for Lambda Chi Alpha. Looks like this is a little commercial area. So there's a Ben and Jerry's, a Tokyo Bowl, a vape shop, uh, a few other things, as well as some apartments. So I think there's some restaurants and stuff, some banks. And we're coming up, that's University, that busy road. And we're gonna go this way. This is Marjorie Reed Hall. We saw that earlier. <clears throat> this is Daniel's College of Business. I'm gonna go this way, just cause.
looks like in the spring there's a bunch of vines that leaf that out. Summer as well, I assume. I like that. I like that kind of ivy on walls. So that way be Denver and some commercial areas, a lot of apartments along here, condominiums, that sort of thing. And right about here is kind of where we started our, off our walk. I'm going to come back down this uh, street, which is Warren or something. Warren, yeah. As I say, thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you come back for more walks. Check out, <clears throat> excuse me, the channel page for all kinds of different walks from Europe and Central America and the East Coast and the West Coast and the Rocky Mountain region. And we're always trying to find new places to walk and looking forward to hearing your stories and reading your comments and getting your feedback, seeing you subscribe and click that bell and liking this video. Um, I had, I think the most popular walks I have, I'm going to go this way, so far have been Switzerland. So check those out, especially the Manlichen, mainly because it's been linked to by, I think, CNN and NPR and Martha Stewart and Travel and Leisure. But I'm going to leave you with this. Even though I was trying to hit the 50-minute mark, and we're just a little bit shy. Oh, I have to tell you my steps. Sorry. I know you guys are fascinated by that. Just have to bring it up on my phone. So we started at 2134-ish. We are at 4658. And that's less steps than I would have expected. But still, a good little workout. Well on our way to the 10,000 that uh, people recommend, but I recently read was just based on a marketing from a Japanese pedometer in the 50s. So, uh, Still, it's good to get out and get some walking exercise. And I hope you've enjoyed this tour of uh, University of Denver, Denver University. It's a really beautiful campus. If you're considering a university, I hope you will consider this, especially graduate work, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know how it rates. So uh, it's cool, though. Thanks for joining us. We will see you again soon. Until then, keep on stepping. <laughs>